y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. I'm just so excited about this week because I feel like I'm just gonna have a lot more time to just do things in general. Um, if you guys are new here, I am a photographer and kind of like doing YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all of that full time. And right now is my busy season with photography. So it's grad season and I specialize in graduates at UT Austin. So last week I had morning shoots and afternoon shoots, but this week I only have afternoon shoots and I'm hyped about that because I can actually get a lot of stuff done in the morning because whenever I had morning shoots and afternoon shoots, there would be like a block of time in the middle where I was just like so exhausted that I didn't really want to do anything else so I'm very pumped about it um, but you guys just saw me using a dermaplaning tool on my face it is an Amazon beauty find it's actually under $30 and it has three speeds but I don't think they really like have a difference between the three speeds. Um, but I love using this to get like the perfect smooth base for my foundation to apply more smoothly and just look really smooth. So that's definitely one of my secrets. And I love to just like trim my sideburns because they kind of grow out farther than I would like them to. So I definitely go in and just trim them up and even like on my chin. Getting old, I got those chin hairs. So I'll link this down below if you guys are interested. And I have not noticed my like hairs growing back thicker or darker. And I've been like shaving my face for about like a couple years now, like maybe two. So I haven't really noticed that. I know a lot of people, you know, wonder that if they see people shaving their face. Today is heavy on calls. I have a call with my assistant, Anna, at 12.30. I have a call with my video editor at 1.30, I believe. And then I have grad shoots in the afternoon. But I do wanna make today more of like a content day um and just kind of like get my life a little bit organized i want to um just like come up with some concepts for brand deals i'm doing a lot of brand deals now on tiktok which makes me really excited it's honestly just more fun making sponsored content on tiktok rather than instagram feed or just like stories also speaking of stories i woke up this morning and saw this screenshot and i was like what the hell i thought this was just kind of like a rumor i didn't know it was gonna happen but yeah now tiktok has stories and i'm just like oh god because i cannot handle another new feature on a new platform i just like think it's so much and like i don't want to be whiny because i am very grateful to be able to you know do photography and this for like my full-time job to make up my full-time job i guess um but it's just like every month there's a new platform that we have to keep up with and it's a lot like i can't even handle instagram tiktok what else like pinterest youtube it's just so much already and now I feel like I have to be updating my TikTok stories because if you don't use the new features on the apps, it could be like an opportunity loss for your platform to grow, especially on Instagram. I know they like boost users accounts when they actually use the new features. I mean, you probably heard of it when people are talking about reels, like you've got to get on reels, you got to get on TikTok. It's just like the new thing to do and it could be again an opportunity to grow your platform so i'm just like i know i have to do it but do i want to do it probably not because i also think that it should be different content for each platform i know a lot of people say like it's good to repurpose content but then if i was the viewer and i followed this blogger on all these platforms i don't really want to see the same content on tiktok stories and instagram stories so i'm just like i don't know what the frick to do so i think we're going to definitely talk about that on our strategizing call this morning just kind of get anna's thoughts and figure it out i just filmed a makeup routine should be up by the time you see this video because i think the sephora sale starts on april 1st if i'm not mistaken so i'm also going to do a product recommendation video so definitely keep your eyes peeled for that and i got an email saying that my brand sponsorship stuff was due tomorrow or is due tomorrow and i didn't realize that the date was so soon so i kind of freaked out honestly still i'm stressed out but i've been working on that for the past hour or so um so i'm just uh doing a tiktok i have to do stories and feed posts which i might do the feed post tomorrow i think that might be the plan it's 4 40 and you guys already know what time it is it is grad shoot time so i have two shoots today and i will be done around 7 30 i think so i'm gonna get out of my car walk up to littlefield and start shooting 
It's 8 p.m. I'm home from my grad shoot and I already started cooking. We're gonna make some sushi bowls tonight or like the same kind of hand rolls that I put in my recent cooking video. Um, haven't really decided yet. I kind of do want some seaweed in here. The hand rolls do sound really good, but I got some sushi grade fish from H Mart yesterday and I don't want it to get bad. So I wanted to make this meal tonight for sure. So you actually have to get sushi rice and thank God I picked some more up yesterday because I remember that I was running out. So you cook that up and then right here I'm making like sauce for the sushi rice pretty much. It's rice vinegar, sugar, salt, and a little bit of oil. And it tastes so good. It kind of like makes it like a little bit sweet. So now that the sugar is all dissolved, I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into the sushi rice. I personally think that sauce makes everything better, but I just found out that there are some people that are not sauce people, which blows my mind because I wish I wasn't a sauce person because I'd be definitely consuming a lot less calories if I was not a sauce person. But I wanted to show you guys my favorite sauces for like sushi stuff, just sushi recipes in general. So let's start off with the sweet soy glaze. This is what it looks like. And I'm not sure exactly where I found this. I want to say H-E-B. Could be Amazon, honestly. Then we have the cube high mayo. I think that's how you pronounce it. But this is always in like Emily Mariko's videos. Next up we have ponzu sauce, which is one of my favorite sauces to eat nigiri with at sushi restaurants. I would kind of describe this sauce as a more citrusy soy sauce, but seriously, if you are ever at a sushi restaurant or the next time you go, definitely ask for a side of ponzu and try it because it is so much better than soy sauce in my opinion. Lastly, we have yuzu extract, and this is definitely newer in my kitchen, but I've had this on many nigiris in the past and I am like familiar with the flavor. Again, it's kind of like a citrusy taste, but it's very citrusy, like pretty much like lemony. I don't even know how to describe it, but it smells so good. So we're gonna use all those sauces today. And do you want yours to be spicy? Do you want me to put some of these in or no? We got an avocado. I don't really have that many veggies. Like you can add as many veggies as you want. I just got one little avocado. This is what it looks like. Definitely need to get better at wrapping, but I know they're gonna be so good. Good morning, it's Tuesday and I'm in a crazy rush because I woke up a little later than I wanted to and then I had to film the sponsored content that is due today. Now I'm gonna meet my friend Nagin at Soho House again. It was my first time, I think a couple weeks ago, maybe like a week or two ago, and I was like, if you ever need to work here and you want a friend, like please ask me. So we're gonna do a little bit of work there. I have like a lot of photo galleries to edit and I really wanna get all of those done today. And then I also want to edit a video and just a lot of admin work too. Just got home from a shoe. I literally went straight from Soho House to the grad shoe because I moved it up since it's really like just overcast today. I was worried about like it getting dark a little too soon. So we moved it up, but I came home to steak and mushrooms. It looks so freaking good. I'm so excited to eat. I'm like already hungry and it's only, oh, it's six. 
It's time to eat for sure. Thank you, babe. Looks good. What kind of steak is this? Ribeye. Ribeye? AMD TV ribeye. Is that a good steak? I'm it's guessing, right? One you like. Oh, good. Okay. I never remember which one it is that I like. Yay. Oh, honestly, it smells so good walking in. I'm really excited to eat it. And Ryan makes the best steak, so I'm pumped. I have a very busy night. I need to edit a lot of photos. <laughs> and then um, edit a video and gosh dang, my brain is just fried, honestly. But it's gonna be okay, I got this. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I'm starting the vlog off for today at Bank of America because I have to get like a bank letter. I've never really heard of this, but a brand that needs to pay me was asking for it. And so I called Bank of America, I think like a week ago or two weeks ago, um, to see if I could get it just sent through mail. I think there was some miscommunication because they did not send me a bank letter. So I am here and I think I'm just gonna go in and like talk to a clerk to see um, what I need to get and just like if they could get that to me today because I really want to just like cross that off my list. Um, but other things we're doing today, just getting a lot of like like admin stuff done I would say so you know do some emails I did a lot of emails yesterday though because I forgot well actually my purse spilled my computer bag spilled out everything yesterday when I was on my way to Soho house so I thought I picked everything back up and put it in my purse but when I got there I was like where the frick is my hard drive and I was like planning on editing some grad photos while I was there but I couldn't edit them because they were all like attached to my hard drive so that was annoying but it's okay because i was able to do a lot of emails yesterday um and then i want to finish editing my weekend vlog it's a fun one we like did so many awesome things this weekend y'all will love that one and it will definitely be up by the time you watch this video i definitely want to go through like all my iphone videos and see what can be made into tiktoks because i'm slacking on tiktok slash instagram reels i was in a phase that i was doing really good with reels and i just have not been so we're gonna do that and i have two grad shoots tonight and then we do it all again tomorrow didn't really vlog today because one i it was just doing a lot of computer work admin work and just had to get a lot of stuff done but I then realized when I wanted to vlog that I left my camera in the car so I was like you know what it's okay I just need to get this done it's fate um, so I edited photos I did some reels I edited a whole video I posted a whole video so that's exciting now I'm back at UT I have two grad shoots tonight I'm ending a little bit early which is exciting back home and I made some king oyster mushrooms my favorite freaking thing to make but I'm making them differently this time. I actually have miso paste um, that I got from, I wanna say H Mart. And it looks like this. Let's see if it can focus, there we go. I took a spoonful of miso paste and butter and then I just kind of like sauteed them in this pan. And they look so good. I was kind of inspired because we've gotten King Oyster Nigiri before and it tasted like miso, but I couldn't really find a recipe online. So I just kind of like eyeballed it and so I have, well, I'm actually currently making little rice balls and then I'm just going to put the little mushroom on top and then maybe some flaky salt. And yeah, so that's going to be our appetizer, but Ryan actually got us pizza for tonight. So we're going to eat that. But tomorrow I'm getting my hair done, which is so needed. I don't even know when the last time I got it toned. Ryan wants me to dye it pitch black or jet black, right, Ryan? Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's gonna happen. What? I think everyone does. What do you mean everyone does? I think everyone nice. likes my dyed hair. What do you guys prefer on me? The dyed hair or pitch black? Why do I keep saying pitch black? Jet black hair. Um, I just really like the dimension in my hair and especially, you know, summer's coming. I feel like it would be like fun to have like a summer color. So I have to decide if I want like an ashy or more of like a warm toned because I feel like I always like it ashy. There was one time I did it warm and then I think it just got like really brassy a little too quick. So I think ashy is just like an easier route to go, but I feel like warm is perfect for summer. But I gotta make my mind up because I gotta get it right. I made sure to get my hair appointment in before all my trips and all my travel this coming summer and it's literally starting in a few weeks and I'm freaking out because I had an order from Shopo. I think I ordered it like before South by Southwest. So it was like maybe early March or like February. And then it apparently it got stopped by DHL because the order was like 
kind of expensive because I kind of went a little crazy on their site because it was my first time ordering from them and the prices were so good that I was like, okay, let me just like order a whole bunch and then return whatever I don't want. So I did that and then the order got stopped by DHL. It was there for so long because they told me that I needed to get the manufacturer's information for each product I ordered. I was like, what the hell? Like I've never experienced anything like that. Then after all this, it's been sitting at DHL for like at least 15 days. After all that, they tell me that I have to pay 300 extra dollars for import duty or what is it called? Tax, ta what's it called? Maybe import tax. Import tax, yeah. And I was like, you're fucking kidding. Send it back. <laughs> like, I can't pay $300 more. I already spent so much on the freaking, like, order. I was shook. So, I was very upset about that because the clothes were so cute. And I was thinking if they didn't come in time for South by Southwest, then I could just wear it for Italy. But now I can't even wear it for Italy because it's being sent back. I asked them, I was like, okay, so if I ever order from you guys again, like what can I do to not have this ever happen to me again? And they said that you can't really exceed like a certain number, otherwise it will be stopped by DHL, meaning like the certain amount of money that you order from us. It's just crazy that I was being punished for ordering and like supporting their business, you know? But obviously it's like not their fault at all. It's just DHL, but it just sucks so bad. So now I don't know where to shop for Italy. So if you guys have any stores that you guys love, let me know. You can DM me on Instagram or comment them here. Now I'm gonna take a little mushroom, just plop it on the rice, and then I'm gonna add some flaky sea salt, but I have this black lava sea salt. And I got it on Amazon, I can link it down below. I'm like very into like different kinds of sauces, different kinds of salts. And that's why my pantry is currently exploding with just random shit that I don't really use very often. But I kind of just tell myself, what if I need it one day <laughs> for this one little dish? So whatever, I justify it in my head. But these are gonna be so good, I can already tell. Cheers, taste test. Not bad. Not bad. Less rice. You need more sauce. Good morning, happy Thursday. Today is a very exciting day because I'm finally getting my hair redone. And actually it kind of looks good in this clip. <laughs> but I was taking some before and after pictures and videos and I saw like all the split ends just sticking out. I don't know if you can tell, but it definitely needs a little bit of a trim, but I'm scared. I don't want her to cut too much off, but I'm gonna tell her like I mean it. Do not cut a lot off because my hair is starting to finally get long. I just need to grow so much more. I want it down to my butt in the summer. And then when it gets down to my butt, I'm gonna be like, I wanna chop it off, especially in the summer, because then it's gonna get hot and then I'm gonna be sweaty and then I'm gonna be annoyed with my long hair. So it's always good to have like longer hair in winter, but like you know, you can't really choose when the hair comes and when the hair grows. But anyways, so yeah, this is my before hair. I don't know if I want to do like a warmer tone or an ashier tone. Babe, if you had to pick warm or ashy. Okay, he said warm. A lot of people are saying warm for the summer, but then I just feel like that will get a little bit brassy like really fast. So that's like my only con about that. But I'm going to ask Mariana what she thinks and I just pretty much always trust her so kind of whatever she says goes it's a 34 minute drive over there she's at a different salon now she used to be on riverside but now she's in what even is this b cave yeah b cave so i'm gonna head over there didn't really have time to eat breakfast i just got a Lacroix and some like chewy bars in my purse um but this morning i'm glad i got up early enough to like film those before and afters because I feel like hair content does pretty well on TikTok and the last time I got my hair done I was like really rushed before so I wasn't able to take like that many videos and photos and stuff so I'm glad I had time to do that but I did spend a lot of time doing that so now I'm rushed. I was just like taking advantage of it um, but I'm also going to grab a hoodie because I feel like it's always cold in salons so let's do it. Yeah, um, trying to think like highlights of the trip. 
it was definitely a lot of drink, a lot of breweries <laughs> they were <laughs> down there in Asheville um, down there in down Asheville. there <laughs> uh, yeah and you know I always thought that the breweries would have like some options like they really we're at Culture ATX it's her new hair salon yes. so tell them a little bit about like what you do like what you specialize in yeah I definitely I get a lot of blondes here a lot of highlights balayages and I feel like what I love doing is like Sonali or my hair which is like super dark going mm -hmm. to lighter avoiding the brassy tones um, and we're in the Bee Cave and Lakeway area and right now I'm looking at Sonali's hair and I yeah. just feel like we're both agreeing like how well this grew out. Yeah, I so. just took before and after pictures and I'm like, why does it literally look like I just got my hair done? Minus the split ends I saw a little bit, so. We'll fix Please, that today. just don't cut too much off. I literally like <laughs> will die and cry because it's finally getting longer. This is like every one of my kind. I know. Like long hair, yeah. blonder, but no split ends. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is the picture we kind of are thinking about. And these are red can shades. So this is the toner that we're gonna pick out. Um, and I feel like this is kind of neutral. In some places it looks warmer. I'm thinking those are probably a little too bright for yeah. Sonali, mm -hmm. but maybe like, um, gosh, what's back here? That would be like a good reference. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking like in between. Gosh, and we can mix these, but like this. Mm -hmm. And this one here. Yeah. It'll be a good mid tone, I feel like. What do you think? Perfect, yeah. I think it looks good. What do you think about my hair? It doesn't look much different. It kind of looks curled. Look at my like front pieces, though. She like brightened them up because they were like black. You like it? Yeah. Let's go back home, and here's my new hair. I honestly think this is like my favorite time that I've dyed it because I love these little light money pieces right here. That's what they're called, like a lighter front piece in your bangs. And I think they're so cute. I feel like it just goes so well with my skin tone and it's gonna be perfect for like just a summer hair color. And this is what the side looks like. I'm also gonna insert after this clip some before and afters because I took them on my iPhone and I feel like the coloring may be more like true to color. Um, but I'm gonna make a lot of TikToks and post a full Instagram post and I'm gonna like put a little paragraph of like what exactly she did, haircut and balayage. Um, I just need to like wait for her to send me all that information so I'm gonna try to post it tonight but I really freaking love it and now I'm kind of sad that I can't just like film content or like do content all day today because I have a grad shoot in literally 30 minutes. I gotta run, go pack my bag and then head on over to UT. I'm home from my grad shoot and we're cooking chicken tacos tonight and I'm very proud of us because we're actually using shit that's in our fridge but I feel like I'm getting a little sick, like my throat doesn't feel too good. I feel like it's maybe allergies because all over UT's campus was pollen. So I feel like it might be allergies. Hoping it's not anything crazy. Um, but we were planning on making marks. You still wanna do that? But for now, I just need like water and I feel like this LaCroix is like itching my throat. It kind of feels like, good. I took a LaCroix on the way to my hair appointment this morning and I like accidentally dropped it in the parking garage and it sprayed everywhere and I was literally going to pick it up and like shotgun it because I was looking forward to like that first sip of your LaCroix you know and unfortunately it was like all dirty where I was literally gonna put my mouth on it so I was like okay I probably should not do that but I was like so upset because I was not gonna go back in and get another one because I was like running late so now I can enjoy it keeping my dinner pretty simple I'm just gonna have one because I'm not too hungry but it looks delish morning happy Friday our place is a mess I feel like it's just the usual now which I hate that it has become this but I want to open some packages so that I can kind of get this like kitchen counter cleared so I thought I would do it on camera for you guys this whole time I just saw this part of the box and I kind of thought it was like the Michaela collab with glow recipe i just checked the bottom and it is and i didn't even like read the bottom at first glow recipe is definitely one of my favorite skincare brands at the moment so let's open this up here's michaela and i actually started following her about like a month or two ago and i've been loving her content on tiktok 
and oh okay got the clips got the clips i literally saw her like opening this whole package so but i don't remember what's inside so we have the what is this oh it's just like pretty much her favorite product so my favorite hyaluronic cream is in here i don't think i have this green one it says oh avocado syrup oh wait avocado maybe i should just open it all up it literally says it on these two things okay so First we have the watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops, the avocado ceramide recovery serum, and the plump plump hyaluronic cream, which is my absolute favorite skincare product right now. Like I am obsessed with it. It's so good. Highly recommend to pick it up during the Sephora sale because it starts today, April 1st. So I want to film a um what's it called a recommendations video. But I'm still kind of feeling a little icky today. But I was really planning on making today a content day because I don't have anything else to do. But I do have to edit some photos for my grads and I definitely want to get those done. Like that's definitely a priority for me. I mean, I guess I have a lot of priorities and it's just hard to see what needs to come first. But I do have a call with my assistant Anna at 10 and it's currently 9.51. So gotta do these unboxings pretty fast. Next box is from Sunday Riley. Shut up. It's so crazy because like I told my sister they sent me flowers and she was like, what the heck, Sunday Riley? It's the Luna oil. I don't even know if I told them about the Luna oil, but this was the first product I ever used by them because my sister recommended the, I want to say it was the, the orange one. I want to say it was like the CEO glow. No, I don't know. Anyways, my sister used the orange oil and she was like, Snow, you have to get it. But then I went to Sephora and I always like to hear their recommendations for like my skin because me and my sister's skin is very different. She has more acne prone, oily skin where I'm more like severely dry and like I had really bad eczema, but she never had eczema growing up. So they recommended me the Luna oil and I was obsessed. This is what it looks like. Then the oil is blue, but when you rub it in, it like turns to a clear. I can't describe it. And I don't even know exactly what it did for my skin, but I woke up every night or every morning <laughs> glowing and like it was insane what the shit did to my skin. I loved it so much. So it says it reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the visible signs of premature aging. So another really good recommendation for the Sephora sale because everything's 20% off, especially if you have VIB Rouge, I believe. So stock up on your skincare products because skincare is not cheap, but like it's so worth it to invest in your skincare. Let me tell you guys, like definitely worth it. Got another skincare package, which is odd because I feel like I never get this many, but this one is from Clarins. The double serum and then the double serum for the eye looks like this. I have never used these products before, so I'm very excited to try these out. Okay, I guess the next one is also skincare. It's Coco Kind. This one's the Ceramide Barrier Serum. We got the Chia Bounce Mask, and I think that they said this one was new, if I'm remembering correctly. And then this one is the AHA Jelly Cleanser. Okay, got a lot of new skincare to try out. Now I'm like a little overwhelmed, but in the best way possible. Then I also wanted to open up this package. I already know what it is because it always comes in this cute packaging. It's Goriana. If you guys didn't know, all my bracelets on my wrist are from Goriana and I love adding to them. I forgot what I selected because I have like a monthly partnership. Ooh, okay, another bracelet. To add this to my stack, it is the Laney bracelet, and then this one is the Laney ring, so kind of that same texture but just in a ring. I feel like I have not been wearing many rings lately, and I want to get back into them. I feel like they just like look so good and like make your nails look good, make your hands look good, so I want to start wearing them a little bit more often. But sometimes I just get annoyed with having them on my hands, and I would think that I would get annoyed with all these bracelets on my hands, but honestly. The only time it really annoys me is when I'm kind of like typing, but I'll just like put these a little back and then it's fine. But this is what the ring looks like on my hand. It looks so good. Also, my nails are probably one of my favorite press-ons I have done so far and I've done a lot. I feel like I started doing press-ons, I want to say before Black Friday because I remember getting a bunch on Black Friday. And this is what they look like. It's kind of like a white pink 
I wish they were a little more white, but I still really like the shape. Like I didn't really have to file them down or anything. They're like the perfect length. I like them kind of long, but not insanely long. Like they look like my real nails. It's so good. They take like 15 minutes to put on. I think the first time I did it, it took like 30 just because I was like learning how to put them on, but I can do it pretty fast. I think the like only thing that takes me a while is to actually find like which nail fits on what nail, you know? But I highly recommend to check out just press-ons in general because they have saved me so much money and they last like at least two weeks, especially if you like glue them on really good. These usually don't really fall off. They just like grow out a little bit and then that's when I kind of like just take them off. It's literally 59, I gotta get on this call, so I'll talk to you guys in bed. I also got these on Amazon. I've recently been addicted to just eating some roasted seaweed, and this is actually the teriyaki flavor. One of my followers told me to try the teriyaki flavor, and it was actually in one of my South by Southwest goodie bags. So I tried it, and I was like, okay, no more of the, just the regular flavor. Teriyaki is where it's at. So I'm gonna have one as a snack, but I'm also gonna make some pot stickers. It's actually a little bit later than I did that unboxing. Today's just been a lot of admin work again. I'm kind of just trying to fill up my calendar for the last bit of grad season, and I think I'm gonna cut it off very soon, which is very exciting. I've done a little bit of cleaning, and then I also edited a lot of galleries. So, you know, sometimes it can get overwhelming when you're shooting a lot, and then you kind of don't edit for a while, and then they kind of like all pile up on you. Hoping it's as good as I remember the first time. Let's see. Also, this is the brand. I will link it on Amazon because I actually didn't see the teriyaki flavor in um, H Mart. So I don't know, maybe it's only sold on Amazon. I've heard Costco too. Cheers. So good. So good. Sweet and salty. It's like perfect. I got invited to go to the Museum of Ice Cream here in Austin. It's actually at the Domain, but it's been here for like quite a while now. I think they're just having some special event, some special collab with, I believe, a pastry chef. So we're going to go to that tonight and I want to show you guys my outfit because you'll be shocked. I'm not wearing neutrals. First up, we have this top from Miss Guided and it's a really pretty purple color. I thought it would be perfect for the spring. I have my gold belt on that's from Amazon, which I I'm literally obsessed with I feel like I'm wearing it with like any and all of my going out outfits recently because it just like adds so much more to the outfit then I'm just wearing my go-to jeans which are actually from Nordstrom from the brand Silver Lake I believe and then we have my really cool new balances I love these they're really cute I actually got them on Princess Polly I think they're like the salt water no I don't know rose color ones but i know when i just got them i was trying to look for the link and they were all sold out of this color but since they are more colorful i thought it would like go really well with this and i'm just not really in the mood to wear heels or just like open toed shoes too because my nails are not cute and i really need to get them done but i want to get them done before italy so i don't know if i should wait or just go ahead and get them done and do like regular nail polish for now i think that's probably what i'll do because i just hate when my toenails are not done ice cream museum and it was really fun got some pics and now we're gonna run over to Nespresso get some Nespresso pods while we're here at the domain I feel like we don't come to the domain that often but it's such a vibe at night what do you think and then I guess yeah it does feel nice out but there's so many like lights and beautiful stores all lit up actually we come here very often but I meant at night I guess um. Is it the Altissimo? 
got the goods. We're back home. I immediately took off my makeup and changed into my bougie pajamas. These are from Eberge and I honestly think it's a really good investment, although I did buy it during Black Friday, so there was a good sale. Um, and then I got my little hair clip on. I think I got this one from TJ Maxx. And I've been like putting my hair like weirdly in a claw clip like because it's long i kind of have to like loop it down so that's why i like the end sticking out from the bottom so it kind of looks like i have like a mullet but totally fine i kind of like the look but i'm going to end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life i like feel kind of guilty and just bad because i feel like my vlogs were just better in the start of the year and obviously you know it was kind of when nothing was going on and life just got busier. Obviously I'm in my busy season with grad shoots every single freaking day and I love it. I couldn't be more grateful. I'm about to pretty much book up for the whole season and I can't even believe like I'm saying that because me like two years ago or even like when I just moved here would have like died to have like a back-to-back -back schedule like this so i'm so grateful and if you guys want to support me on my photography journey you can go follow my account sonali productions on instagram it's a lot of grads right now but i do also do everything but weddings i tried weddings and it just was not for me but i admire the people that do wedding photography because it is long days that's all i gotta say i'm definitely looking forward to life slowing down a little bit but i don't also want to wish it away and i know it's not going to be anytime soon because we got some travel coming up and then summer in austin which is like very brutally hot but also the best i'm pretty much just in water all the time and i'm a water baby for sure so if you guys want to see my everyday life real-time content you can follow me on instagram and tiktok they are both so underscore gnarly without the g and i will see y'all in my next video bye